Touch them up now. Good luck to both of you. Token lose. Buena suerte, hombres. Pacquiao still believes that he deserved to be the winner in each of their two fights. One draw, one one-point loss against Manny Pacquiao. But that's the way he's been trained. His defense is too, too easy to get hit to me. He's trying to outbox a box. He's selling in there and timing him. That's the yeah, reason yeah. that it's difficult to do this against Marquez. And the fight is beginning produce, to produce some of the intensity and some of the fireworks that we saw last year. Here you see Marquez take advantage of that hands on the side position of Diaz by punching punches right through the center. A left uppercut and a straight right hand right between the gloves. More of the same. This is what happens when Diaz tries to box better. Hey, Instead Diaz, of just yeah, fighting. Yeah, Diaz is fighting a very good fight at this stage here. And then his first fight with Pacquiao. Down three times. In first, the first round, round. And then won the fight from that point on. And just because of the knockdowns, he ended up with a draw. But made great adjustments as the fight progressed. Case last year. About a much, much better job. He's not in harm's way as often as he was last year. And there's a... But you know, right this stage, Diaz is fighting a very good fight. I mean, much, much, much better. Fascinating. Beristain says that he favors the technical art of boxing because that's what gives a fighter a chance to still be healthy when his career is over. Look at the kind of wars both Marquez brothers have right. been in. Marquez has been very successful with that straight left through the center that he's been landing. And Marquez lands a big right hand and a sweeping left hook. Diaz feels the need to come back right away. And they trade shots down the stretch. Also, same version to some degree of Marquez himself for this fight. <laughs> Terrific uppercut by Marquez. Wobble Diaz. Diaz is still hurt. Still doesn't have his legs all the way back. Marquez measuring. Hard right. Another Marquez innovation, a right hand lead, uh -huh. and he does it again. Marquez is so changed, but he needs to do a little bit more of his old stuff in addition to the boxing. You know, it actually began with a victory. It, it began when he. Ronnie Shields, between rounds, seemed to be asking Juan Diaz to go back to something more like his original style. Here's a Marquez combination, Emmanuel. Watch yeah. this. Landed. 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 The great offensive fighter is you've got to be unafraid of getting hit, unconcerned about it. Marquez clearly fills that bill. Hard right hand on the top of the head. Go the distance, not get knocked out. I can keep doing what I'm doing, what I'm doing. And if I want to go for the victory, now is the time I would. You know, you know he's in big trouble. It's the constant accuracy of Marquez. It's the fact he lands so many punches. I can get hit more, so he's not throwing too many hooks all right hands. With a brain like his and a life like his, he shouldn't take any chances. I would like to see him open up a little bit more the last round. I think he would be much better than he thinks. He has. Marquez with a 56 to 15 connect advantage according to CompuBox in the last two rounds. And as, as a good left hook by Diaz. He got an opportunity and he hit Marquez. And no one is taking the kind of punishment that he's taking with that fight with Bay Cavalier. In this Even round. Even though he's still a puncher, but I still think he's a little more vulnerable. Yeah, in this round, clearly Marquez's intensity has dropped. Perhaps because Frank, Nacho Beristain keeps yeah, telling him between corn, or in the corner between rounds that he's winning every round. Mm -hmm. If you hear the trainer say that enough, after a while you figure, well, what a fight. Juan Diaz stood on the outside, tried to win it with a left jab, and was totally unsuccessful because Juan, Juan Marquez out. You have to expect to some degree when you have so many fights like that. is a third fight against Manny Pacquiao. I think this is still, even though he'll lose a decision, I think, me personally, I think inside Diaz. It's on the law school. 
It was one thing to fight and conduct a boxing career as an undergraduate. It would be another thing to try to do that while going to law school. A brilliant finish for the two fighters who produced the fight of the year last year. This will not be a candidate for the fight of the year. From the Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas, we go to the scorecards. Jerry Roth, 116-112. Glenn Trowbridge, 118-110. Patricia Morris Jarman, 117-111. All to the winner by unanimous decision. And still, lightweight champion of the world, Juan Manuel. Dinamita! <laughs>